हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ क्वालिटी गुरुज दैट इज डॉक्टर डब्ल्यू एडवर्ड्स डेमिंग एंड प्रोफेसर जूरॉन दिस इज प्रोफेसर ऋषिकेश व्ही कोल्ले वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजिनियरिंग संजीवनी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनियरिंग कोपरगाव let us start the presentation so firstly we'll see the contribution of dr w edwards deming so dr w edwards deming was born on 14th october 1900 and he died on 20th december 1993 he studied under shewart at bell laboratories he was an american who was went to the japan help in you can say in the, reviving the japanese industries after world war 2 as per the top management uh, he is more responsible for quality improvement to the uh, employees he contributed to the tkm uh, he demonstrated these 14 points he contributed deming's triangle deming's theory of variance and the seven uh, deadly sins and the disease management okay he explained he showed the management uh, the theory of variance deming's wheel that is nowadays we known as pdca cycle he gave the definition of quality as follows quality is a continuous improvement through the reduced variation that is view about the quality next firstly we'll see the 14 points he has given to the uh, society or to the total quality management first point is create constancy of purpose for continual improvement of the product and the services that means management must create and publish or you can say the management should be aim at the purpose of the organization should Uh, uh for the investors customers suppliers employees and the community and the quality of philosophy the organization should uh, you can say develop a long term view of businesses and set goals according to that or in order to achieve the goals resources must be allocated to the research okay or training or there should be a continual education should be there second point is learn and adopt new philosophy the top management and everyone in the organization must learn the new philosophy organization must concentrate on defect prevention rather than the defect detection okay organization must give importance to the never ending improvement processes and they should not they sh refuse to accept the non conformance so like this Se third one is understand the purpose of inspection see the management must understand the purpose of inspection it is to improve the process and to the reduce the cost uh, for most part of the organization mass inspection the quality uh, you can say the quality and it is going to be whatever the things are there that going to be increase so whenever the inspection is required it should be applied and replace by never ending improvement processes okay fourth point is stop awarding the business based price tag okay business based price tag that means suppose the organization must stop awarding the businesses based on the low bid because price has no meaning without quality okay the goal is to have a single supplier for each item or to develop a long term relationship of the trust or loyalty thereby you can providing improved products and services okay there should be uh, follow up of the materials throughout the life cycle in order to examine how the customer expectations are there and these are affected by the providing feedbacks to the supplier okay next is improve constantly and forever the system of production and the services that means management must take a responsibility in actively finding correcting the programs so that the quality and productivity are continually and permanently improved and the cost are reduced the focus is on preventing the problems before they happen okay like this 
सिक्स वन इज इंस्टीट्यूट ट्रेनिंग ऑन द जॉब ट्रेनिंग ऑन द जॉब मीन्स यू कैन से इट इज द एम्प्लॉय मस्ट ऑल द एम्प्लॉयज शुड बी ट्रेन एंड दैट शुड बी ओरिएंटेड टू द फिलोसॉफी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मैनेजमेंट मस्ट अलोकेट ऑल द रिसोर्सेज टू ट्रेन द एम्प्लॉयज और टू परफॉर्म देयर जॉब इन टू द बेटर मैनर नेक्स्ट वन इज एडॉप्ट इंस्टीट्यूट एडॉप्ट एंड इंस्टीट्यूट मॉडर्न मेथड्स ऑफ लीडरशिप ओके इंप्रूविंग द सुपरविजन इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इन दैनेज इट इज द मैनेजमेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो मैनेजमेंट मस्ट अपॉइंट सुपरवाइजर्स विथ ट्रेनिंग सो दैट दे कैन हैव फिलोसॉफी और ऑफ द क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट सो सुपरवाइजर शुड क्रिएट और ए पॉजिटिव एंड सपोर्टिव वर्क एनवायरमेंट इंस्टेड ऑफ फोकसिंग ऑन निगेटिव और फॉल्टी फाइंडिंग एटमोस्फियर ओके ऑल शुड ऑल कम्युनिकेशन मस्ट बी क्लियर फ्रॉम टॉप मैनेजमेंट टू द सुपरवाइजर्स एंड टू द ऑपरेटर्स ओके लाइक दिस नेक्स्ट एट पॉइंट इज ड्राइव आउट द फियर एंड क्रिएट ट्रस्ट एंड द क्लाइमेट फॉर इनोवेशन दैट मीन्स मैनेजमेंट मस्ट एनकरेज दैट शुड बी ओपन एंड इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन एंड टीम वर्क शुड बी देयर ओके फियर इज कॉज बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ सिक्योरिटी जॉब सिक्योरिटी ओके और यू कैन से पॉसिबल फिजिकल हार्म और परफॉर्मेंस अप्राइजल एंड ऑल्सो इग्नोरेंस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गोल्स और पोअर सुपरविजन आर दैट आर डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स आर देयर सो ड्राइविंग आउट द फियर विल लीड टू द सक्सेस ओके फॉर मैनेजमेंट द मैनेजमेंट मस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन वर्कर्स विथ एडिकुएट ट्रेनिंग एंड गुड सुपरविजन ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज ब्रेक डाउन द बैरियर्स between the department and individuals okay that means suppose management must optimize the efforts okay of the teams groups or the staffs that uh, that are actively participates in all the uh, works okay that is what next one is eliminate use of slogans okay this is important one posters or exhortations for the workforce 11th is eliminate numerical कोटास फॉर द वर्क फोर्स न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड और टार्गेट ओरियंटेड वर्क शुड नॉट बी देयर क्वालिटी शुड बी देयर ट्वेल्थ वन इज रिमूव बैरियर्स दैट रॉप द पीपल ऑफ प्राइड ऑफ वर्कमैनशिप ओके थर्टीन एनकरेज एजुकेशन एंड सेल्फ इंप्रूवमेंट फॉर एवरी वन ओके सेल्फ इंप्रूवमेंट शुड बी देयर एंड वेन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज नीडिंग पीपल हु आर इंप्रूविंग विद द एजुकेशन देर विल बी ए लॉन्ग टर्म कमिटमेंट टू द कंटिन्यूअसली ट्रेन और एजुकेटेड पीपल एंड दैट शुड बी अपॉइंटेड बाय द मैनेजमेंट ओके लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट फोर्टीन पॉइंट इज टेक एक्शन टू इंश्योर टॉप मैनेजमेंट परमनेंट कमिटमेंट टू द अकम्प्लिशमेंट ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट मीन्स सपोज द मैनेजमेंट हैज टू एक्सेप्ट द प्राइमरी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर द नेवर एंडिंग इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ द प्रोसेसेस ए कल्चरल चेंज इज रिक्वायर्ड Uh, that is for uh, you can say the management must committed that should be involved and accessible if organization is succeed in implementing the new philosophy so these 14 points given by dr Ed, uh, edward deming next these three philosophies also important given by the deming first is deming triangle okay that is what management it is uh, three apexes are there and three apexes as first apex is suppose management commitment the second one is statistical methodology and interrelationship should be there that will complete the quality and that is what you can say total quality management should be there okay that all pop triangle is explaining second figure is deming's theory of variance deming's theory of variance is uh, concentrated on basically as per deming all the variance can be or categorized into the two category control variance or uncontrolled variance a control variance is variation from standard processes that worker can control okay and what is whereas uncontrolled variance is a various from the standard processes due to the impact of some factors outside the control of the employee so variances can be corrected by workers or the management or the managers by either changing its common cause or you can say by removing its special cause 
okay so common causes are uh, systematic issues such as suppose uh, improper product design equipment manufacturing or maintenance of the equipment incorrect routing or improper selection of the materials and special causes are you can say uh, in that includes lack of skill worker negligence or incoming bad quality material so this is what uh, the damming's theory of variance next is damming's wheel basically damming's wheel is uh, a pdca cycle p stands for plan d stands for do c stands for check and a stands for act it's a cycle it is continuous uh, cycle is going on and that is never ending processes that leads to the improvement okay that wheel is climbing on a inclined path and that inclined path is going towards the success okay this is what so plan is what plan uh, the test or you can say the observation state its objectives in the do uh, try out the test on a small scale carry out the test uh, document the problems expected observations third one is the study uh, you can say the check what check you have to do set aside time to analyze the data and study the results that is what check whether the complete analysis of data is happening or not compare the data with your expectations and lastly the act okay refine the change based on what was learned from the test okay determine what modification should be made properly plan the next test okay that is what plan do check and act cycle next a scientist or quality guru we can say it is dr joseph m juron dr joseph m juron was born on 24 december 1904 and he was died on 28 february 2008 he was a father of quality control he is known as a father of quality control he was a romanian born american engineer and it's he is a management consultant he also went to the japan he wrote about copq that is what cost of poor quality he also contributed in tqm as uh, his points are their contributions are as follows top management involvement he developed the pareto principle he initialized the training in quality management he has given the definition of quality as quality is fitness for use okay according to him next project by project approach he has developed and he has authored a standard reference book that is quality control handbook and also one of the famous concept in total quality management is jurens trilogy diagram okay he has given the jurens trilogy diagram this is the jurens trilogy diagram that trilogy diagram is having the three phases in it okay first is quality planning second phase is quality control and the third phase is the quality improvement how to plan how to control and how to improve the quality basically these three things are there in this figure quality planning is component that begins with the external customers okay this is what uh, we have to identify the customers next determine the needs of the those customers and translate that needs into your language and that can be understandable to everyone next is develop a product that can respond to the needs okay and lastly in the planning optimize that product features so as to meet the customers requirement so this is what you have to do in the planning quality planning second phase comes after it quality improvement in the improvement uh, the processes that you have developed that should be able to produce the product and that process you have to optimize okay then and then there will be the improvement okay so improvement is nothing but suppose it is aiming to attain the levels of performance and that are significantly higher than the current levels okay so processes that can be improved that can be began with establishment of the quality council <coughs> there are various duties are there that are identified first identifying the improvement of the project second establishing the project teams with the proper owner then there should be uh, you can say quality council should provide the teams with resources determining the cause 
and create the solutions and you can establish the controls okay so what is next is quality control control is that you can say prove that the processes can be produce the product under the operating conditions with minimal inspection or that processes can be transferred to the operations that is what quality control so process improvement establishment should council should be there and you can say there are uh, two steps uh, they have given basically these steps are determine the uh, subject to control and whatever you have to measure there should be units of measure and the measure actual performance compare the actual performance as per the standard performance and act on the difference if the difference is there then there should be action so this is what this quality planning quality control and quality Im improvement this is what a trilogy given by the dr juro next as edward jeming given 14 points same as it he has juron has given 10 steps of quality improvement processes these 10 steps are as follows first is build the awareness of the end of end and the opportunity need and opportunity for improvement second set the goals for improvement third organize to reach out the results fourth one is to provide the training throughout the organization fifth one is carry out project to solve the problems sixth one is report the progress seventh give the recognition eighth one communicate the result ninth keep scoring better tenth one maintaining the momentum by making annual improvement part of regular system and that are processing the company so these 10 steps are given by dr juron to the quality improvement processes so in this lecture in this video we have studied the contribution of two quality gurus dr edward jamming and the juron in next lecture we are going to see the contribution of uh, next quality gurus that is uh, crossbay and the ishikawa thank you see you over there